Today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own CO2 drop solution. Um, CO2 drop solution can be kind of a pain to get sometimes, especially if you get a name brand's um, drop checker and, and it comes with its own solution. And sometimes it can actually be hard to get replacement solution from that same company. And that's kind of how what I've had trouble with. And not that it really mattered, but I just assume get, you know, the actual factory solution that came with the dropper, but it just sometimes is hard like that. And sometimes if you get, you know, like cheaper drop solutions like Fluvals or something, those are always in stock at like big chain stores. And those are always easy to get. But when you get some of these high dollar drop checkers, it seems like companies don't sell the solution by itself, which can be kind of frustrating. But Sam, I'm going to show you guys a quick and simple way to make your own. It's actually super simple. And both of these together that you'll need cost about 20 bucks and it'll last you years. I mean, unless you're changing it consistently, this stuff will last you a long time. I mean, because you won't, you just won't need much at all. And especially if you have a really small drop checker, you will seriously have so many years worth of this stuff. And I don't even, I don't know if this stuff even like expires. That's even a thing on this stuff. And I don't think it does. So yeah, I mean, you'll get so much time out of these things. So, so yeah, so this is the drop checker I use. This is the one that actually is on my 90p. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely do so. We have some cool tanks. And so this one's actually my 90p one. It's like how alcohol, which is, a really high-end glass company they make a lot of cool stuff you know lily pipes and you know drop checkers just like this one um obviously i'd probably put ada at number one but glass um cal aqua if you're also looking for other another option for some high high-end glass quality pipes or you know drop checkers i would definitely check out cal aqua i think greenleaf aquariums actually sells a lot of their products i'll definitely link that down below but that, that, just to show you guys, that's the one I'm using. So it has the indicator solution in the middle right here, which is pretty nice. So you can actually match the color. Helps. Some people don't really need it, but it is kind of cool having that indicator just so you can match the color. Obviously, drop checkers, I always tell people, aren't the most accurate. I mean, to me, they're more of an alert system because at least if you if you can learn your tank and you can learn where where the color ends up in your drop checker all the time, if it's consistently, you know, if it's a consistent, like, light light green or it's a consistent dark green at least if you can get familiar with what color it always is not so much it telling not so much matching the color um then if it does end up changing then that can actually at least alert you saying there's something wrong or you know or if you're actually low on co2 that can this that can actually can alert you too um so it's, it's kind of both ways it can help a lot but i wouldn't exactly measure co2 based off this i think that's where some people get messed up the best absolute best way is check their pH and make sure you have a one drop between the day and night and that's the absolute best way but this 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 is still good to have because it's more of an alert system I think it, it's still a good thing to have especially if you don't get a real high dollar one it might you might as well get one but yeah I, I wouldn't say buy one that's this expensive because this one runs about probably, I think 70 bucks no not really needed at all but it is nice and if you if you like the, the glass work is really nice on these ones so Kind of fancy but definitely not necessary so let's get into the actual solution part so what you'll need is two different things the main one is a dkh solution which basically that's what's actually gonna you know change the indicator solution to different colors um and you know alert you when you have the optimal co2 so this one's actually from green leaf aquariums i'll link that down below also this one's there's many different ones of this that i find this one to be the absolute best um the reviews are amazing on this one and I think everybody agrees I mean this one's that most accurate out of every single one on the market so and this one's not really expensive either so definitely just get this one don't don't go researching other ones if, if you're watching this video and you want to make your own definitely buy this one don't buy any other ones because you definitely want an accurate one so definitely get this one Greenleaf aquariums real good stuff and then what some people forget is they also need an indicator so this will actually will change the color so obviously this is a blue indicator you, this one's from science company so they just make a bunch of different chemicals they're not they're not really an aquarium company they just make a bunch of different chemicals and so the, the whatever chemical this is i i could never pr pronounce that but that's what it is right there real long name i have no clue how you even pronounce that but that's basically what it is and basically this is this is what you'll drop into you know that solution right there so so Let's see here. I'll show you guys how you do this. So basically, just how you feel every other, tip it upside down. And then what you want to do is pour this stuff right in there. Now, see, obviously, you only want to fill it up to, you know, so much. But we'll see how much I put in there. I might have put too much already. 
And a trick is to get it down in there, I kind of put my thumb over this. And you kind of shake a little bit and that gets the air out of there. So you see what I put in there, a little too much. Actually, that's probably, it needs to be more, you know, where that cap ends probably, but that's okay. We could just go with that. So there's our solution. So yeah, like I was saying, you probably just need a little less than that, but that'll work just fine just for the video. So let's close that cap. Next step is your blue indicator. Again, I'll link that down below. So this is, has a little drop and basically you just want to drop enough to where it turns a good, you know, solid blue. And usually for me, that takes only about two drops. So we'll put one, and it'll actually look kind of green. And then when you shake it up, it'll, so you can see like right now, like it's more, see how it's like a light blue, but it also had, does has a, depending on which water you put in there too. Like mine, obviously I didn't put enough, but, or solution, my bad, not water. But yeah, so I put a second drop. And that should be it. So now I just put my thumb back over it, you know, kind of shake it up, get it back, kind of tap it a little bit. Okay. So after that, so see how it's like just a nice solid blue. So yeah, so definitely if you have this size of a drop checker, definitely two drops is plenty. You don't need any more than that. But if you have a small drop solution checker, I mean, you might only need one. I'm not. I can't confirm that, but more than likely you only need about one. But especially, especially with having a little bit extra solution there, I probably that's why it's probably so light blue. But if you have a little more solution in there, like I put in there, you probably need a little more drops. But but yeah, that's basically the color you're looking for. And I'll see. see, we got that right there. So the trick of putting it, I just usually you can just put it straight in there, and it's perfectly fine. I I just always be safe and like put my finger over the end like that and suction cut back on there and usually to be the most accurate usually the drop checker just needs to be a little bit lower and I'll, I'll fix that when the video is over I'll just show showing you guys for purposes but yeah that's basically it and then so the key here is obviously have all this air because that's you know that's how it's going to work so right here this is how it should look where it's just you barely have an air bubble right in the end there so that's how how it should look and yeah so if you guys have any other questions definitely hit me up i can answer anything or if you want to follow my instagram at jj aquariums but other than that i'll have everything in the link in the description and i'll see you guys on the next